So the key to really delicious black beans is to soak your beans in water overnight. So I've done that. They've soaked for actually 24 hours. So I'm good to go there. And I've got a Dutch oven here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on medium. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna heat this up and saute some onions. It's optional if you wanna add those in. Um, I just like it for a little extra flavor. And then I'm also gonna be using a bay leaf, some ground cumin, and some minced garlic, and some salt and pepper. So the, the cumin really um, gives this dish some delicious kick and it's kind of traditional in black beans. I'm also gonna add some cilantro and then I'm um, going to garnish with a little more cilantro, some cotilla cheese and uh, some freshly diced up green onion. So we'll let this heat up and I'll add a half of a onion to this. And I'm only gonna let this cook for a few minutes. I'm not gonna get it all browned. I just wanna kinda cook it a little bit and then I'll go ahead and add my beans. I'm also gonna be adding a lot of water. And these are gonna cook for quite some time. My onion is ready. So I'll go ahead and put half of this onion in. I have roughly probably about three cups of uh, beans here. We'll test that out here in a second. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of minced garlic. So I'll do about a, I like garlic, so. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump my beans in. I'm going to add some cumin. I like a lot of cumin, so at least one and a half to two um, tablespoons. And then two bay leaves. The bay leaves just give this a really good flavor. And then I'm just gonna add some water. And I wanna cover these. Get that cumin mixed in. So that was, that was about three cups of water, just about an even amount of water. I'll go ahead and add some salt. It's a lot of beans and some ground pepper. And I can always add, um, you know, more seasoning towards the end. But I'm just going to leave this on medium and I'm gonna let these cook. I'll put a lid on them and let them cook until all that water evaporates and the beans are nice and tender. You could also add some red pepper flake if you wanted to kip, kick it up a notch for a little bit of spiciness. And that is it. So I'll go ahead and pop this on and we'll just let this cook. <laughs> 